Hello, Western North Carolina Conference. I'm Adam coming to you live from Culver United Methodist Church here for a special Easter season news bulletin update. Today we're going to be taking a look at some of the extraordinary signs of resurrection and God's presence at work right here during our Easter to Pentecost season. First up, we're going to take a look at the Wesley Foundation. You know, it's a particularly compelling story. The Wesley Foundation Campus Ministry, they're hosted right here on the campus of Culloway United Methodist Church. They operate both inside and outside the building as a place to connect, contribute, and celebrate in their faith and the world around them. Sources tell us this is a great place to volunteer, you know, get involved with Meals on Wheels, the food bank, have some fun. It's a great place to, you know, fundraise and a safe space for students just to be themselves. We have a testimony for our on-site witness team, Mitch. Mitch, what's going on at the Wesley Foundation? Yes, Adam, we're here on the scene at the Wesley Foundation. This is a place where students can come together and grow in their faith with one another and learn some important leadership skills. In fact, we have one student here who'd like to share a little bit more with us. Yes, this place is pretty cool. Uh, one of my favorite things is going on all the service trips that we do. But sometimes it's nice just to get together and hang out and do some cool things like playing disc golf together. That's what we're going to go do here in a little bit. Thanks, Mitch, for that testimony. Up next, we have the Firewood Ministry. It's in partnership with Jackson County Department on Aging. So here at Culver United Methodist Church, we have to collaborate with a wide array of volunteer groups to help keep people in Jackson County warm. During the winter time, it's a fantastic way to get our local community involved here at Culver United Methodist Church and show them the love and resurrection power of Jesus. As always, we have our witness reporter over in the wood lot. Over to you, Mitchell. Yes, Adam, thank you. I'm here in the wood lot at the church. Sources tell me this is where they cut, deliver, cut, split, and then deliver hundreds of loads of firewood. This seems like a great way to show God's love, Adam. Uh, sources tell me that Jesus is alive and well here. In fact, he's been spotted, they say, a number of times behind these splitters. In fact, we have one worker here who'd like to share a little more with us. Hey, uh, yeah, I, uh, I like coming over here every now and again to help these guys out at the church. I like letting the students do the majority of the splitting and uh, throwing the wood in the back of the trucks. I like to volunteer my time cutting here with the chainsaw. Just think it's a really great opportunity uh, for me to use my, uh, my time off from work and that kind of thing, a great thing that the church is doing here. Well, that is just great to hear, Mitchell. We also have some community partners here at Culloway United Methodist Church that we are so grateful to share our space with. The Language Enhancement After School Center, or LEAP, is a phenomenal way for us to share our open doors with the world. You know, LEAP's using that cutting edge learning to help underserved youth in our area with homework, ESL, and building that terrific sense of community right now. For more on community relations, we're gonna go over to our witness reporter, Mitch, for another testimony. Go ahead, Mitch. Adam, we're here on the scene. As you can see behind me, there are many shining faces as these young folks learn here, sources tell me that this church loves to open its doors to community partners, just like this one. In fact, we have a local citizen here who wants to show us a little more. I've been around for 80 years and I've never seen a church so engaging. Uh, this is a church that really understands the importance of being a community hub. In fact, I wonder, is this place ever empty? Well, it looks like another good front for the work of God here at Culloway UMC, especially during this great season in the life of our church. And that is all today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We just had a breaking news story concerning a local preschool, and once you know it, it's located right here at Culloway United Methodist Church. We are just now learning that Culloway Kids Preschool gives time, energy, and care to those young minds, you know, taking those little acorns and turning them into mighty oaks. We now go live to a breaking testimony from our witness, Mitch. All right, Mitch, tell us more. What's the breaking news going on over at the preschool? Yes, Adam, we are here on the preschool playground, Colaway Kids Preschool. As you can see, the kids are running around. They're just having the time of their life out here. Uh, some of the parents uh, just got done dropping some of their kids off. I figured we'd ask one of them uh, what it's like to have their kid here. Yes, it's such a uh, blessing. You know, child care in this area, uh, it's just a major need. Uh, we know that when we drop our kids off here that you know, they're not only cared for, but they're loved. Um, we even started coming to uh, Sunday service, and you know, uh, it's been great. Uh, we've definitely heard worse sermons before. 
Thanks again, Witness Mitch. And that is all for today's update on the extraordinary signs of resurrection here at Culloway UMC. And as always, grace and peace to you in the Western North Carolina Conference from our risen Lord.